were many meals that families ate during the Great Depression that stretched the shopping budget as far as it could go. While some of these foods were eaten by small numbers of people in the U.S. before the Depression hit, they didn't really catch on until folks were looking for ways to more efficiently feed their families. At the same time, farmers were looking to increase their profits wherever they could. Some of the most desirable foods were going scarce during the 1930s, and new recipes made the best of the food that was available. And like any good recipe, they got passed down over the years. So here are eight foods that might not have become common were it not for the Great Depression. Grapefruit. Not widely eaten before it was provided as part of public assistance in the 1930s, grapefruit is high in vitamin C, but was only at first begrudgingly accepted as an edible citrus fruit. Early recipes called for searing or boiling the grapefruit, but as more people had access to it, it became a normal part of our diets. Casseroles. Casseroles were an invention of necessity, combining ingredients to make the most of every meal. It meant stretching premium ingredients like protein and vegetables, and casseroles could cleverly disguise bland canned vegetables and turn a ho-hum dish into something that had appeal for the whole family. Clearly it works because we're still making casseroles today. Chicken and dumplings. Just like chicken soup, you can use a tough old chicken for this American classic, and it relies heavily on flour, which was a wonderfully cheap commodity then as now. Chicken and dumplings was already popular with farmers in the South, but the dish became even more popular far and wide during the Dust Bowl years. Now it's a staple comfort food for many families, North and South alike. No bake pies. You might have grown up calling them refrigerator pies, and they have become family favorites over the years, especially in summertime. Many Depression era foods had to be economical. As such, flavor wasn't always the main factor in creating a new recipe. So when any novel foods did come along, many home cooks jumped at the chance to make something different. Even in the midst of food shortages, convenience foods like instant pudding or jello were beginning to become popular, and they were often a lot cheaper than their fresh counterparts. Fried egg sandwiches. Someone surely invented the egg sandwich long before the stock market crash of 1929, but they became a popular substitute for meat sandwiches because they were so cheap and easy to make, a common theme of 1930s foods. Now they are found both on home breakfast tables and on many restaurant menus. Hamburgers. While fast food did exist before the crash, fast food chains thrived during the Great Depression because their burgers were so cheap. This created the vast market for fast food that we enjoy today. Were it not for an economic crunch, we might not have the burger joints we love so much now. Broccoli. Searching for new ways to increase profits, Japanese farmers in California in 1930 started cultivating a crop imported from Italy, which most Americans at the time had never heard of before. It's hard to conceive that less than 100 years ago, broccoli wasn't a commercially grown crop in the US. Just imagine if you'd never been told to finish your broccoli before you could leave the table. Baked apples. With only four ingredients, this is a very cheap dessert. At times, even spices were hard to come by during the Depression, but most cooks at least kept some cinnamon on hand for baking. The only things you need for this simple dish are sugar, cinnamon, butter, and of course, apples. It's possible that we would be eating these foods today had the Great Depression not happened, but they became American staples because they were appealing in times of scarcity and poverty. All of these foods were both cheap and easy to prepare, not to mention tasty. And it's these same qualities that make these dishes just as enjoyable today.